Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you once again for tuning in to another video. So today I'm going to be doing an open and honest conversation about being single at this point in my life. And I wanted to do this video because I know that I can provide a lot of wisdom for you all and just a lot of like what the Bible says in biblical instruction. But I also think that it's super important to be open and honest about where I actually am because a lot of times we can know what to do as far as wisdom but that sometimes doesn't line up with actually the way that we currently feel and I also know that feelings aren't everything so that's what I want to stress as well in this video that we can't be overcome by our feelings or anything like that but I really think it's important that we are also honest with one another about where we really are in life as well as giving wisdom to each other. My body is your tabernacle. Lord, move me where you will. My heart is a beating reflection of your kind and your patient nature. So I just want to give y'all a little background about what's going on. I was at work today. Well, not at work. I was working today and I realized that I have been single for two years this past March at the end of March. And I was just like, wow, I just began to like just reflect and, and really think about the things that I have been through in the past two years and how far I've come and just where I am in life at this moment. So I'm 25 years old. I'm going to be 26 in October. And I know that that's still super young, but that's just, that's just where I am at this point in my life. As y'all know, well, as some of you may know, I've probably like my third or fourth video, I posted a testimony video about how I was in an abusive relationship. And so the first part of the two years was just me kind of recovering and um, just really spending time with the Lord and letting him fix the different areas in my life that were broken at that time. And, you know, I'm still experiencing healing in those areas and I'm still experiencing it healing in other areas of my life as well. And I think that that's going to just be an ongoing process just as we go through life. You know, we build up so much hurt and we go through so many things in life that, you know, kind of healing is a continual process. And so definitely open to that. So yeah, I've just been taking time uh, to do that as well. And I would say that I'm at a good place in my life. So I'm not dating anyone or talking to anyone. And I would say that I'm purposefully and unpurposefully single. So basically I'm open to what God wants to do in my life, but only God. I don't entertain anybody who one doesn't show the fruit of the spirit and also someone who doesn't set well with my spirit as being a potential husband. I know that, you know, we have to have faith when it comes to these things. So like, I can't just say, God, the next person I date is going to be my husband, which I can say that. And I fully believe that, but I can't say that and then not take chances, like not take a leap of faith. So of course, a lot of people don't necessarily know right at that moment, if somebody is their spouse, like they had to step out on faith and say, okay, I'll go on a date with you. So yeah, that's how I feel. I'm purposefully single in the way that I don't entertain just anyone. And I'm unpurposefully single in the way that I am open to whatever God wants. So I'm single until God brings me my husband, if that makes any sense. So as far as like the way that I feel about this and just the season that I am in my life, I mean, I have had good times and bad times and I still have good times and bad times. You know, there are times when I really, really want a husband, but then there are times where I'd be okay being a nun. <laughs> so um, I don't have an overwhelming desire to be a wife at this point in my life. And I don't have an overwhelming desire to be single at this point in my life. You know, I have an overwhelming desire to please the Lord. You know, I have the attitude of, I want to be a better person, not just so I can be a bomb wife and not just so I can um, win the affection of somebody. I want to be a better per person to please the Lord because he is who I'm waiting to meet. You know, um, he is the one who brings me eternal life. <laughs> And I know that in pursuing uh, the kingdom first, that all of those things will be added onto me. I'm just focused on pursuing the kingdom of God 
first and foremost and enjoying every single season that I'm in. If God wants to bring my husband next month or if he wants to bring my husband next year, I'm open to that. But if he doesn't bring my husband next month or next year, I'm okay with that too because I know that the Lord holds my future in his hands and I know that he only wants to bring me good things. Honestly, I have had talks with the Lord and say, okay, God, um, don't wait too long now. I don't want to be too old. But yeah, that's just being honest. Like I, I pray that it's, I'm not too old now. I mean, I guess you can never be too old, but I pray that I'm not like, you know, in my mid- <laughs> God's will is God's will, okay? At this point in my life, I'm really, really enjoying my life. And I think it's important to know that you can still be free and 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 enjoy your life to the fullest when you are single. And I think that that's when you have the most time to devote yourself to the Lord. That's when you have the most time to, to invest in your friends and invest in relationships outside of your immediate family. And it's the time where I can give to the people who are in relationships and I can give my of my time and um, give of my money and give of, you know, just my affection to the people who are already married. I can watch their kids. I can be there for them um, when they need to make a quick run. Like I can do those things for my friends because I have that time and I can also enjoy my single friends and just have impromptu bible studies at the park because we can do that so like there there's something so beautiful about this time that i am embracing and it took me a while to embrace it because i think that you know most women we grow up with a desire to just be a wife and, and have a family and all of that kind of stuff and you know when i pictured my life when i was 10 i would i was already married by 23 24 shoot probably not was 22 I pictured myself married by 23, 24. But then when I got to those ages, I realized that there's still so much that I don't know and there's still so much that I'm learning. And at that point in my life, I really couldn't picture myself married. And I know that a lot of people do get married at that age and you know that works for them, but that just wasn't really, you know, that obviously wasn't the case for my life. And it's also just knowing that even though God hasn't said the man that is going to be my husband yet, it doesn't make me any less desirable or valuable because God may have sent someone else's husband before mine. Like I'm taking this opportunity to really, really maximize, you know, my season and really wholeheartedly pursue the Lord. Like I want, I'm in a place in my life where I want to know so much about God and I honestly feel the most free than I felt, but I'm also at a place where I'm not like locked into this season. Like if God wants to do something totally different and move me into a different season, like I'm open to that. But if he wants to keep me here and keep me learning in singleness for with him for a period of time, then I'm okay with that. Like, and sometimes I feel weird telling God, like, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with that. Because then I'm like, okay, God, don't get too comfortable with that. But like, God knows our heart and he knows, he knows our desires of our heart. And he really, really wants to give those to us. And I, and I want God to give that to me. I don't want to go out and look for it myself and find it myself. I want God to give it to me. And I know that this doesn't mean you know, sit and do absolutely nothing. I know that, you know, different factors go into that. But as far as like, I want, I just want someone from the Lord. And also while God is preparing that person, he is also preparing me. He's not just preparing me for my husband. He's preparing me for himself. He's preparing me um, to go out there and encourage young women and encourage young adults and encourage people of all ages in the faith. And so I'm just super excited. Like this is my genuine, honest opinion. Like as of right now, I'm super excited. But yeah, I mean, there are times where I get super sad and I'm like, dang it. Why can't this just happen right now? And there are times where I overly don't care. <laughs> and, and and all of the, and both of those are extremes. But like where I am right now, I am okay. You know, I I want what God wants for me wholeheartedly. Those are my honest feelings about this time in my life. And um, I want to hear y'all's opinions, whether they're 
whether you're tired or waiting or whether you feel so free and you could wait another decade like and you could live by yourself another decade and you can do you another decade um i just i want to hear all of that and so yeah guys thank you for watching this and i'll see you in my next video